Hey everyone, welcome back. So this episode we'll have a look at the volumetric dosing from the primer. Um, so I'll show you the app first. There's two ways of doing this. Uh, you could either use the app to set your dosing or you can use the buttons here to set your volumetric dosing. I'll show you both. This one will probably be the more accurate one for you since you're using a scale. Um, so to get into your dosing, um, it's the water dose, make sure it's connected. So I've set my dose one already um, using the buttons here and it's giving me 66 uh, milliliters of water for 36 grams of espresso. So I'm not gonna play with my dose one since I don't want to change it any anymore. But dose two, I'll show you how I can uh, how I can change it and what it actually gives you. There is a little bit of a discrepancy between what I get, what I enter here, and what you actually get. So let me show you now. Let's uh, let's do let's say fifty. Okay. So make sure you press save and it will show you machine is updated and it will show on here as well uh, on the top of your machine so my machine's warmed up as you can see um, and basically it's 50 ml of water so I'll just show you on here this is in there you go can't really see it but uh, it's in milliliters so There you go. So that is 50 milliliters and we can do, and that's about eight seconds. So I'm just gonna lift the thingy up a little bit so you can see. Let's do that again. So eight seconds for 50 milliliters of water. So my first one, as you saw, so you can set it via this, via, sorry, via the app, okay? Um, the second way of doing it is, the more accurate way would be using a scale. Um, so for example, let's say, let's turn it on. Get rid of the water. This one will fit, so I'll use a cup. Say I'll use this one. Okay. Whoops. So the second method, the more accurate method, would be using this buttons here. So in order to access it, uh, I might have to move the camera a little bit. So you press, uh, as you know, this is A uh, and C and B. B is your manual button. Um, let me just silence this. Right, so to access your menu, you basically press both of these. Okay, that accesses your menu. And then you press the middle button to access your, I think that's dose setting. And then in order, if you want to program your right button, you just press your right. If you want to program your left, you press your left. Okay, so my left button is already set so I'll use the I'll program the uh, right button and then I'll show you after you've done that after you've programmed the buttons manually it will also update on your app so let me just show you now let's say you're brewing and you want 36 grams I say 41 grams. So it took uh, seven seconds. So now it's set. And what happens on here on your app is when it updates, as you just saw, it's 41 um, 
milliliters of water. So it's actually very, very close. So 41 on here and 41 grams on here. Now let's uh, let's go back out. I think you can go back out here. So you just press the middle button twice. Okay, let's do that again. So zero. So let's see if it gives us 41 grams of water. 39 in seven seconds. Try okay. that again. Forty-one point three in seven seconds. So it's not. It is accurate within a milliliter. So the thing to remember with this volumetric dosing, even though I've set forty-one milliliters on here, whether it be on here or via the buttons itself that doesn't take into account the density of your beans. So it will change for each type of beans that you use. Um, so for me, um, I have a dark uh, roast, a medium to dark roast. And if I put in 18 grams of beans to ask for 36 grams of espresso out, I need according to the app, 66 milliliters of water. So if I were to use dose two, as in button C, um, for 18 grams puck, I would not get 41 grams of espresso out. So the app is, you could say, less accurate than using the buttons. So your best bet would be once you've dialed in your grind setting, okay, and you've done it via your scale and the manual button, then program A or C. And that A or C will need to be reprogrammed each time you get new beans. Actually, probably a few days, maybe a week, after you've opened your beans, you will probably have to uh, adjust the dosage for either the buttons A or C because your beans are going stale, they're losing their freshness. So, and your grind setting will probably be a bit more final than on the first day that you use your beans. So then all that dosage will change. to DS and now let's do uh, 36 grams should be about 25 seconds might be a little bit slow maybe about 28 seconds grams in about 27 seconds okay so now let's leave that and let's go and have a look at how much it gave us sixty-eight apparently yep sixty-eight so apparently it pushed out 68 milliliters of water to give us 40 grams of espresso at 27 seconds. So once again, pre-wets off, dose, 
we'll see. So that was the dose yesterday for 40 grams uh, of espresso. So let's try and change this one. So maybe I'll make that. I won't use this function. I'll use the programming function and see how much this gives us. But as a thing, let's just put it as one. Let's just put it as 10, shall we? Machine updated. Just leave that here. Just in the middle for the dose settings. Press this to start. When it hits 36, I'll stop it. So 24 seconds for 38 grams. Oh my phone has stopped. Sorry. So 66. So 38 grams of espresso requires 66 milliliters of water from here. Now that is saved. So let me go in and... Thank you everyone for watching. If you think it's been useful, please consider giving me a like and subscribe for future content. All the best, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.